go to the MAC, a Friday night game at Toledo for Miami of Ohio. Toledo, a double digit favorite, laying 12. The total is 158 in this matchup. Kyle Hunter, I am right back to you for thoughts on this tonight. You're going to have an official play. What stood out for this one on the sheet? Yeah, um, I like Toledo to score a lot in this game. And we have talked about Toledo in the past, TJ. Remember how how efficient they've been on offense, especially at home inside the MAC. Miami's one of the shortest teams in the MAC. They really struggle, no shot blockers, paint protectors at all. Toledo gets the basket early and often. Um, Toledo has a massive advantage on second chance points, too. They're 94th in the country in second chance conversion, and that's according to Haslametrics. Miami is 334 at allowing those second chance points. So if Toledo misses the first shot, they got a pretty decent chance of getting another shot and putting it in. The last two years, Miami gave up 88 and 89 points in the last two years at Toledo. The Rockets have that long history of being great at home. The pace should be very quick here. I don't think Miami has the answers on defense. So instead of taking the full game over, I'm going to take Toledo team total over 85. It is a high number. I think Toledo can at least get into the high 80s, maybe even 90 in a game like this. I just think their advantage on offense is very big. The other thing that's a nice little bonus, Miami fouls a lot. Toledo shoots 76.3% from the line. So if they end up at the line at the end of the game, I like, I like our chances here. Corby Craig, the Toledo Rockets did open up on the road earlier this week uh, and beat Ohio and scored 86 points in the game. They come back home here with Miami of Ohio. Thoughts on this uh, matchup in the MAC? Yeah, just uh, one little thing in the chat. This is completely opposite of what we were talking about earlier, but we have a a, a reunion in the chat. I mean, it looks like we have all the all the OGs of the, the uh, Bet US community. We got Mark, Ed, and Scott in the chat, which just never <laughs> happens at this point. And uh, the only reason I bring it up is they're Mark off said their he, they, New Year's bender, is what you're saying, and they finally yeah. have checked in on Friday. Okay, good. Mark Mark said he's he he takes a weekend off, and Kyle grows out his whole facial hair. So uh, what's That's happening right. here? Uh, but, yeah, I, I tend to agree here. Uh, Miami, Ohio, a team that wants to shoot the three ball, 10th in the nation in three-point percentage. They're 27th in the nation in points per game from three. The issue is they're on the road. Uh, I think that most of these are – I've talked about this a million times, but I don't think these low-level teams really can acclimate to road environment fast enough. Um, they've played three home games in a row now, hit back-to-back -back on the road. It's a pretty tough spot to be able to shoot the ball, uh, and they don't rebound good at all, which is not really surprising uh, just based off how they play. So Toledo's going to have a lot of one and duns on the defensive end and, and a lot of chances to get to the basket. This is a different Toledo team than in years past. They shoot well, but they don't really care to shoot the three ball. Like they're 326 in the nation for points from three. Uh, I, th I think they're getting significantly better looks. They're getting to the rim. They're getting foul calls. Uh, and, and I don't think that that stops. Kind of the thing that I've talked about all year at this point is teams are leaving in kids all game. And Toledo's no different. They're leaving in their kids until two minutes left in the game, even if they're up 20 to try to run up score. Uh, they want to look like a fun school to go to for the transfer portal in next year. So they're always going to try to run up score. I think they have plenty of chance to do that here. Uh, I bet some Toledo minus 11 last night, and I don't think that's available anymore. But uh, just knowing that is kind of the same idea as the Toledo team total here. I, I think this is fast pace. Toledo gets it done. And again, in the sample size uh, over their last few games, going back to the Northern Iowa win, mid-December uh, in that game they scored 84 they beat Marshall scoring 88 they lost to Vermont got blown away by Vermont 86 to 60 but even the West Virginia game last week at West Virginia 91-81 um, they got 81 in defeat in that one and then again 86 for this week if you're looking at what uh, Kyle Hunter is looking at which is the team total for the Toledo Rockets he says over the 85 tonight in this battle with Miami of Ohio, Toledo trying to get out to a quick 2-0 start in the Mid-America Conference.